I'm an actual tutor and I work for the works company, but I'm stationed with the ICOs, which is the Defenders, and I deliver training, whether it's in maths, English, or any other aspects like food hygiene, CSCS cards. Um, I also help with driving theory, anything that's educational. This afternoon, we would be looking for jobs, looking at CVs, how to sell yourself. So we'll be looking at um, how a person sees themselves in a better light. So first of all, we have a conversation about their hobbies, their interests, what motivates them to keep going in, in the daytime. And then we kind of like look at careers around things that they actually like doing. It'd be nice to have a career that you like doing. Um, and then we'd go on the internet and then we'd have a look at what jobs are out there around what they'd like. Um, ensure that they're qualified or they meet the criteria of each job and then we'd apply for them. Um, set up emails if we have to, um, write CVs and send them off electronically if that's what's needed, we do all that. Covering letters. Applied for plenty of jobs, got interviews out of it, um, updated CV which I got help on so it looks good and it's presentable when I give it out or send it through emails. Um, they helped me open my email address and that, so I could actually send me emails to jobs. Um, basically, that's it with a jobs club. I like them completely informal. Um, I feel that I get to know the guys on an educational background, you know, from a point of educational view and school didn't work for them, the formal didn't work for them, they go to prison, that's really formal and rigid, but it doesn't quite work for them, they don't want that here. Um, I, because I'm not an officer as well, it helps a little bit because they're a bit more open to my suggestions. Um, they don't feel like I'm telling them what to do. More relaxed, in it? People aren't coming in thinking, oh, dreading it, I don't want to go, I don't want to do this. They're coming in, you can do your own thing, look for your own jobs, there you go, you're done, aren't you? And they like the fact we just chat about everything. So we might be coming and talking about jobs and we end up talking about colleges or study or school or relationships or, you know, and we look up things on the internet so I teach them how to research stuff without them realising they've been taught how to research. And yeah, it is, it is quite a nice atmosphere in this room. The major turning point for most of them is that taste of success. I think once they start getting praise for positives, because a lot of people, they get praise for, and they've only had praise for negative behaviours. So they might get shouted at at home for being too loud. They might get kicked out of the classroom because they're messing around. So there's like lots of attention, but on the negative kind of behaviours. And they start getting praises for positive behaviours and thank yous and being treated like somebody. And then they succeed in something and you big up that success. I think they start, start realising actually I can actually succeed and then they do something else and they get big up again for that success. Do you know what I mean? And they realise that actually I'm getting lots of positive praise for positive behaviours here. So that just elevates people. I think it elevates everybody. I think everybody needs to know they're succeeding. Everyone needs to know they're doing okay. Yeah, it's helped me be a better person really because I come in and I had a lot of anger problems. I didn't want to cooperate with none of me or I didn't want to cooperate with nobody. I thought, yeah, self-obsessed, not bad basically. But at the end of it, I sorted myself out, changed my life around and now I just want to be a better man and do a lot better in my life instead of being in trouble all the time like I used to be. Yeah. <laughs>